Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Lewis, and God bless every single one of you. Today is August 9, 2023, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we have some breaking news updates, some very important information coming out. If you can, please share this video. And it says here, a solar flare just knocked out radio transmission across the U.S., and it won't be the last. Guys, we are seeing great shaking happening throughout the entire world. We are witnessing scripture events happening right in front of our faces. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in the Gospel of Luke chapter 21, he warns there will be signs in the sun. There will be signs in the moon, the stars, and the heavens. There will be all these nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, great famines, pestilence, and earthquakes in various places. We are seeing a great shift happening in our planet. Uh, we are seeing all these events when it comes to uh, the wildfire, the Atlantic Ocean, temperature, water is out of control. Experts, meteorologists are warning a great hurricane season for this year. So it's very important that Floridians and many others be prepared for uh, this weather uh, of an extreme hurricane. But it's not only that, guys, we are seeing a great shifting when it comes to the heart of many, uh, the minds of many is being transformed. We are seeing great uh, rise of the abomination of Antichrist. Uh, we are basically, we are witnessing Bible prophecy. We are living it. All right. So the sleeping giant just got a notice from the sun. All right. Who controls the sun? We already know God is in control of everything. It was a sign. It was a message sent. And, um, it won't be the last one thing i tell you guys is that eventually this thing one day will turn off if you can please share this video uh it says here you have the news has been very actively late oh excuse me the sun has been very active lately sending out scorching flares and frying communication I mean, just literally frying communication system back on earth all right, guys, you already know, I posted a video not too long ago. Something fell from the sky, and it was in Australia, and I warned that it might have been a satellite. The sun is impacting a lot of it, and we're going to see a lot of these, uh, you know, the Bible says that stars will fall from the heavens. Again, John, John of Patmos uh, describes seeing the sun, I mean, the stars falling from the heavens, and I do believe that a lot of it could be metaphor of man-made objects just falling from the heavens now the bible when it describe heaven there's different layers of heaven there's heaven that is the heaven's element and there is the kingdom of heaven now he uh, heaven is referred to looking up so when john of patmos saw stars falling from the heavens i believe that these are stuff like planes uh satellites everything that is all man-made uh, could possibly fall one day all right so once again guys uh we are seeing a huge event with the sun sending out scorching flares and frying communications uh system back on earth now the latest one was recorded on monday when an x-class solar flare disrupted radio and navigation signals across north america X-class solar flare are the largest, most disruptive of flares, and this one classified as an X1.5 likely disrupted high-frequency radio communications on the sunlit uh, side of the Earth, according to the Met Office. Now, the flare bursts out of the largest and most active sunspot group currently visible on the sun's disk. Now, this was the 20th X flare of the current 11th year uh, solar cycle, uh, which is due to reach the peak, its peak, next year. Now, Monday flare follow another uh, weaker X class solar flare just two days earlier. The activity was uh, detected by NASA's Solar Dynamic Observatory, which captured an image of the action. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Solar flares are powerful bursts of energy that can impact radio communication. It could impact electric 
power grids, navigation signals, and pose risk to spacecraft and astronauts. All right, let's stop right there, guys. So uh, I've, I've been experiencing a lot of, uh, when it comes to phone issues, like, you know, logging in or, you know, when you try to call someone, uh, it just, you know, it takes longer now. It takes longer. And uh, this, uh, again, Wi-Fi, bad connection going on. And uh, I never seen anything like this. And I paid like the top dollar because I'm a YouTuber and I post uh, a lot of videos. So I need like the top fast speed and stuff like that. And uh, it, it just come to a point that even, you know, uploading videos, I mean, it's, it's pretty good speed, but it's kind of slowing down. Same with, uh, with the phone. So uh, it seems like that the solar flare is causing some kind of uh, interference when it comes to signals. Or there's a possibility with the biblical war in Crane, Starlink is just causing a lot of uh, possibly giving too much juice to Crane to fight the bear. All right, so once again, the solar flares are powerful burst of energy that can impact radio communication, electric power grids, navigation signals, and pose risk to spacecraft and astronauts. Now, the sun has seen a flurry of activity on the surface this year, with NASA astronomers spotting multiple coronal holes on our star. Guys, I don't know if this happened to you yesterday, but yesterday and the day before yesterday, I've been having this massive headache. And it's been hot outside. My wife had her headaches too. So uh, do you guys witness any headache from this heat? I mean, it's common sense, yeah, you know, because it's hot. But uh, a lot of it is because it's happening during solar flare, the sun. All right. So once again, the sun's magnetic field goes through a solar cycle approximately every 11 years. We are currently in a solar cycle 25th. Uh, which um, forecaster didn't expect to be this strong. Now, NASA observes the sun and our space environment constantly with a fleet, a spacecraft that study everything from the sun's activity to the solar atmosphere particles and magnetic fields in the space surrounding Earth. Now, it may be on track to rival some of the stronger cycles of the 20th century. All right, so this is where we are right now. Great events coming from the sun. Just like our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has warned, there will be signs in the sun. Now, I said this many, many times. When God created the heaven and the earth, he didn't create uh, everything to last forever. There is an end date. End date for all of this. Just like we are born. We're born little young ones we grow we pay tax and then we die <laughs> i'm kidding guys we grow actually we do pay tax so um but again you know we get old and then you know starting from the baby crib to the casket it again is is life and uh you know it's very important that while you're living it's a great great and you know life is valuable much valuable than anything uh, God gave us a gift and, um, you know, time is valuable. You got to give time to the Lord. Pray, constantly pray. Read the King James Version Bible and believe in Christ as Lord and Savior. Open your heart to Christ and uh, accept him as Lord and Savior. Receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So as long as, you know, we hear, reading, enjoy life, be cheerful. I know a lot of people worry about the rapture. Lewis, the rapture is coming. What date? I don't know what date. But the most important thing is we were commanded to go out and make disciples and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming. But right now we need to focus on many people because believe it or not, turn on the television. There's a lot of people heading towards uh, chasing the abomination. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, for those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691.
Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Give your life to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough time. Till next time later. Peace.